this is another one of those videos where I'm, I haven't scripted anything and I'm just going to be improvising the entire thing. It's not the best for speaking quickly and concisely, but like, I really just wanted to get this out. So a couple of days ago, there was someone on YouTube, another ASMR artist that I follow, who decided to make a status post that's saying stuff like, I'm gonna make a live stream about why global warming isn't that bad. And quite frankly, that was some of the worst fucking things I've seen in a while on YouTube. Like, from a community that's supposed to be supportive and positive, like, the ASMR community has generally been one of the best of the communities on YouTube. And for someone to say something like this, while actively my country is still in summer weather as we're getting like to the end of the month and like to where it should be starting to get colder and we're still getting summer days where it can get to like 34 degrees like 34 degrees celsius by the way not 34 degrees fahrenheit it's an it's insulting because this artist is from obviously from america where like if, if it gets bad over there, then it's not going to be anywhere near as bad as it is in other countries. And Australia isn't even going to be the worst affected by climate change if we do absolutely nothing about it. There are countries that are currently like starting to flood because they're island nations, like small island nations, and people are going to lose their homes because sea levels are going to rise and their homes are literally going to be pulled underwater. They're not going to be able to live there anymore. Australia is getting hotter and drier, and we're being struck by several cyclones in the middle of autumn. My birthday is rolling around, and that's usually, like, when the temperatures finally start to cool down. It's, like, really nice and pleasant. Like, you've got days of 20 to 25 degrees. But no, tomorrow is going to be 34. Like, it's less than five days to my birthday, and the temperature is going to be 34. That's that's horrifying. It's also been very dry compared to recent years. Like we've had a bit more rain, but this summer has been unusually dry, even even by Australian standards. Like we've had maybe a few days of rain and then nothing. It's been very sunny, very dry, very very hot and if we're lucky, it's humid. And that shouldn't be happening as we're like leaving the summer months. I, I have no idea what winter's going to hold, or even if we'll ha really have winter this, this year. Because my hopes aren't high as it's still summer and we're well into autumn now, like we're almost halfway through it. And it's still really, really hot. We're still getting 30 degree days, like regularly. It's not like, oh, this is unusual. We had a fucking heat wave earlier in March. We're having our cyclones in March. We're having what it, the very few summer thunderstorms that we're having are in March. It's not a summer month here, it's an autumn month. And to hear someone just say like, ah, oh, climate change and global warming aren't gonna be so bad, when this is the effect and we're not even like, it's mild, it's not severe yet. It's, it's horrifying, honestly. It's, it's insulting. It's, it's downright horrible. Like, America, at the moment is not very affected by climate change. The, but even America is being affected. There was that giant cold front that affected America and like, where like, it was just this huge blast of cold air across the whole fucking state. And people will look at that and say, global warming isn't real, climate change isn't real, we're not doing anything wrong with the environment, but we are, we're, we're doing so much wrong. And it's something that scares me a lot, like, not just for my sake, because I don't handle high temperatures very well, but for our future generations, for our future, our, our kids, our teenagers and kids are the ones that are, like, paying the most attention right now, like, they're the ones that are campaigning climate change awareness to do things about it, and we're making tiny steps, but these kids are urging us to do more, and we do need to listen to them and do more. We can't... We can't think that it's not going to be bad, because if we if we play it safe, if we go climate change is going to be super deadly, and we do things about it, and it was never going to be deadly in the first place, then 
It's some extra precautions, a little bit of resources down the drain, but overall, we will be fine. But we're seeing effects. We're seeing already mild effects. And I'm using air quotes. I know you can't see it, but we're using it. People, it's mild right now. And conditions in Australia are starting to become unbearable. Like, we've broken so many temperature records this year. Like, we've had so many hottest days, like, just all over the state. Some places have gotten to 50 degrees. And I'm terrified. I'm really terrified. So when I see people from, like, colder nations that are like, it's not gonna be so bad. Your mild climate change is turning to what our climate was like in the 80s. Like, what it was when it was just a bit hot, but not, like, Oh, horrible like what it's going to be in a few years if we're doing nothing and our governments are doing nothing our governments aren't convinced that global warming is a threat they aren't convinced climate change is a threat they're not convinced of any of this despite the fact that even farmers like people who are usually renowned for hating scientists like they're usually very isolated people who don't don't listen a lot and even they're starting to notice problems with um, temperature records and they're starting to notice that it, they are more hotter summers, that the winters are colder, not colder, they're, they're warmer. Like, I, I don't remember ever having a really cold summer. No, winter, sorry. This is an issue that really, really scares me and it's hard to put my thoughts about it. Like, to words. I've, I've been doing my best to do so. But I'm just... I'm really scared for the future. And when I see people who are supposed to be supportive and understanding saying things like, It's not gonna be that bad. It, it fills me with rage, quite honestly. It, it, make, it offends me, honestly. It's quite offensive. Like, you need to walk a mile in my shoes. And then you'll see just just how fucking horrible it is. Like how how much trouble we're going to be in very soon if if our governments don't change, if if we don't regulate our companies, if if we don't do everything we can, then we're not gonna have a planet to live on very soon. And it's things that are bad that scare me a lot. I. I don't plan to have kids, but I know a lot of people do and have had kids and there's so many new children and my my friend, um, she's she's got two little kids, they're about three and four now I believe, and the fact that like in a few years this they they might be inheriting a world that's been absolutely ravaged because some rich businessmen today wanted to make some fucking money off coal mining and oil mining and they didn't want to switch to cleaner energy because it wasn't turning them the profits they wanted and then they egged on the public to believe that global warming, that climate change were not threats, that they weren't going to be so bad and actively ignoring that there are literally nations drowning right now. There are, there are nations that are sinking into the sea because where they want to turn a profit and they don't give a shit about the future because they're already old and about to die anyway. They don't, they don't care about future generations. They don't care about humanity at all. They care about themselves. They're so selfish. And, and we just let them have all this money, all this power, and we, we don't question it. We, we criticize people who question it, who like, actively criticize it. We we shun them, we would say that they're just weirdos. But when it actually comes time for, like, when it actually starts to affect everyone, when, when crops start to become even more scarce, as the population keeps increasing, we're going to hit a point where there's not going to be enough food to feed everyone if this continues. We, we can redistribute our resources we've got, but if there's no place to build those resources, if we can't farm anywhere, if if our entire globe is just a huge salt flat and just all the sea levels are rising and everything just becomes salt flats, then we're not going to be able to harvest anything. 
And if if it gets so bad that the water starts boiling off, we're, we're just going to be left with a hot, dry planet that's going to be uninhabitable. And we, we're not near any more inhabitable planets. Not Mars is not going to be inhabitable for another 200 years. And by the time that we can do it, it, it might already be too late. It's, it's probably already going to be too late. And it's, it's scary. I, I'm really worried about my country, about other countries, and about people who seem to deny that this is even happening or deny that it's going to be incredibly horrific, It's that the effects are going to be devastating, that they're going to be catastrophic. Like I said, we've got two cyclones hitting Australia within, like, days of each other. We've, we've had more, like, threatened to come onto the shore. We've had so many cyclones and they've all been late in the season. And I don't want... I'm so scared. I'm scared for me. I'm scared for everyone. I'm scared for a lot of kids. I'm scared that... We, we're, we are better than this. We should be better than this and we're not. And I don't, I don't know. It's something I'm very scared about. I, I just want someone to listen. I, I don't want people to just say, it's not going to be that bad. Especially if they don't live in a country where like, we're already seeing devastating effects. Like, be quiet. You don't know anything about what other people are going through. You've had one major weather event that's correlated to, like, climate change. While we're actively living through an ongoing, an ongoing flurry of them. How can you say that it's not going to be that bad when you have no idea what it's being like in other countries? I'm sorry, this was... This was probably a lot of points just repeated over and over again, but... It's, I really just wanted to get a video out about how I thought about it, even if it was just a quick one. And I'm very sorry if this is a problematic subject for you, but this channel does believe that climate change is an important issue and we need to stop or slow its effects as best we can. Just, just so that we have a planet to live on and call home. Even, even the days where I've wanted to die recently... It's... I've never wanted the planet to die with me. But this channel is... does believe that climate change is a serious issue. More serious than, like, we're pretending it is. And, like, if... if it doesn't turn out to be serious and we do everything we can to stop it and it's not serious, then... eh. We wasted a few resources, that's about it. But if we pretend it's not a severe issue, and then it turns out to be a severe issue, then... We're all going to die. I I don't want that. I don't want this planet to die. So if you believe that climate change isn't going to be that bad, then this isn't the channel for you. This is... I don't want you watching my videos if you think that climate change is not going to be a catastrophic thing. And I know that's, that's a weird correlation. Like, I mostly do ASMR and gaming streams, but... I, I want to build a community that's understanding and supportive on my channel of everyone uh, from all walks of life, regardless of gender, regardless of sexuality. I, I'm supportive of trans people, like binary or non-binary like I am. I'm supportive of people with physical disabilities, with mental disabilities, and I'm supportive of all people from all religions. I, it, I don't doesn't matter what you are, I want you to feel safe here unless you're actively wishing harm upon others. And when you deny the effects of climate change, when you say that they're not going to be that intense, you're, you're hurting others, you're hurting everybody, you're hurting every human being on Earth. And I don't want you on my channel. This, this did turn out to be a longer video, it's 15 minutes and... I've probably talked about ending the video for a while, but I really think we need to be more serious about climate change.